Hi everyone and welcome. So today we have a 15 minute pull up workout. I know some of you do have pull ups at home, of course also in the gym. Simply follow along, the timer will be on, 30 seconds of work, 30 second rest. Now we will be working through a range of holds, slow eccentrics as well and different hand positions. So by the time you get to the actual pull ups, you will be a little bit pre-exhausted. So certainly this is not about reps, this is about practice, form, slowing the way down, controlling the lowering part, keeping that core nice and tight, trying to maintain that hollow position as you can see here on the floor. I'm in that hollow position, my core is engaged. If you can, try to maintain that position. Alternatively, of course, you can tuck your feet behind. And pull-ups is definitely one of those things. The more you do it, the better you get. I haven't been doing pull-ups in a while, so certainly I am not up to where I was previously. However, this will definitely help get me back into it. There are many different ways of learning to do your first pull-up. You can use assisted bands, you can use the pull-up assisted machines. In order to achieve that first pull-up or to increase the number of pull-ups that you can do, obviously forearm and grip strength come into play. This can be increased by simply holding on to the bar, holding your body weight on that bar. Also obviously heavy barbell and dumbbell workouts where you're actually holding that barbell and dumbbell for a such length of period of time, such as complexes. Needless to say, you need a strong back. So all types of rows help, inverted rows, bent over rows, also lat pull downs. And as you can see here, the same sort of setup as an inverted row, however the bar is set a little bit higher and I'm doing a sort of pull up from the floor nice and slow and controlled, drawing the elbows down. My shoulders are away from my ears, try to keep those shoulders down. A strong core is needed as well in order to maintain stability, so certainly practicing all of your planks, your hollows, etc. Increasing shoulder stability is also important, and this can be done in many ways, through band work, rear delt specific, also windmills and face pulls, etc. So many options. Today's workout we'll be focusing on simply holding at the top position in different hand positions. Also then we will focus on that slow eccentric movement on the way down. We will then go into some sets of reps. So again, keeping control on that way down and trying to get your chin above the bar. Stop as and when you need to. We'll begin with scapular retraction. You're going to hang on to the bar and you're basically going to think about bending that bar. Retract the scapula and release, maintaining shoulders away from the ears. And I think that's it. I hope you really enjoy this workout. This is just an example of what I would do. It's approximately 15 minutes. Let's go.
hours gone, I'm latching on Don't even know your name, but you're still in my head Underneath rays of gold, your body all so close No, I can't forget, no When I saw you on the dance floor, oh, I saw you who saw me first I guess it's history now and I shouldn't care but it still hurts I didn't realize the danger, cause you're the end of the rainbow Girl, you should wear a name tag Cause all I wanna do is to know your name Girl, you should wear a name tag That's the only way that I can't show you Girl, you should wear a name tag You should wear a name tag You should wear a name. 